Okay, hi, making some tea. This video is gonna be me restarting and kind of finishing my bedroom. So I have been living in this place since September, early September. And I kind of just set up my room and haven't really touched it since. I built and added a few things, but it's honestly, it doesn't feel like my bedroom, you know? I'm kind of detached from it emotionally and I don't want to be. I am going to start by completely shifting everything that's in there right now. I just kind of stood in the doorway right now and looked at all the shit and kind of mentally decided where I wanted things to go. It's currently Friday at 4 p.m. and I don't know about anyone else, but this is when my energy just disappears. Like around this time of day, especially on Fridays, I just... I really just want to smoke a joint and like have an entire bottle of wine and just be a couch potato. There's a couple more hours of productivity in this day left. Let me show you what I'm working with right now. Don't mind the fact that my room is um, kind of messy right now. Yes, that is the jumpsuit that I wore on New Year's. It has been there since New Year's. I think I'm kind of in denial uh, that New Year's has passed. This is the current setup, right? So we have you know, a nightstand, a bed, you see, you see the vibe, okay? This desk, and then this is what this wall looks like. So that's this perspective, and then yeah, we just have my closet in there. I'm gonna move shit around. I also really need to take care of this plant situation. She's been dead for a minute now. Um, another thing that I'm in denial about. Okay, wow. Can I just say, first of all, I don't know why I'm wearing jeans and doing all this lifting. Like, I never wear jeans in the house. Today I decided to wear them and I'm doing so much physical manual labor. But I already feel like there's so much more space in here. Look at this section. This whole section. Like, what? Wow. This corner has like an that echo that a room has when it's empty.
okay yeah it looks a little weird that it's not aligned with the window but i just want to give myself space so that my closet doesn't feel so like tucked away and not accessible so really quick i want to throw this in there something that i really agree with but haven't really thought to apply until right now is that you should make your space work for you so something that i'm super guilty of is when i first moved into this apartment i you know i had all these ideas about how i could really make it my own how i could really make it work for me but when it came to setting it up i found myself setting it up in a way that i thought would work for when people came over guests what a typical apartment is supposed to look like and by doing that i kind of put myself in the position to host more than you know take part in the hobbies and activities that i want to do for myself because i set up my space you know i kind of manifested that like oh my house is set up for guests so let me have a lot of guests not that i don't want to host or i don't want to have people here and do things in my house with other people but if I want the majority of my time at home to be doing productive things for myself, then I need to set up my home in that way. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm trying to shift the way that I set up my house in a way that works for me, making my space work for me, not for other people. And so that's, you know, with this corner that I kind of made space for, it's like, it started because the space wasn't working for me. Yeah, when I walk in, the bed in this corner looks better than the bed over there, but it doesn't matter what looks better. This is better for the activity that I wanna do, right? Like this gives me a space to film. This gives me a space to do stuff, right? Uh, activities that I wanna do, like paint, like podcast, you know? I'm working on this cheeky video where, which is kind of, why i'm you know pausing right now to insert this clip into this video i'm working on this cheeky video where i'm setting up my valentine's day campaign and walking you know you through the steps everything the process that i do to set up a new campaign and my cheeky space i have an allocated cheeky sp i turn like the dining room of this apartment into my cheeky workspace so in theory i'm making the space work for me but I still have pushed it so far back against the wall that it's almost impractical to film the process. And that is part of the business, right? Like I, I want to film the process. I want to have a comfortable, you know, even if I take photos and do videos in my room because the lighting is best in here, I still want to make it comfortable to film over there. You'll see in that video, if you watch it, that the angles of me setting up the boxes and stuff are kind of rough. It's not great. And I'm still gonna put it up. I'm gonna leave it as is because I think it's important to mark the change that's about to happen. Oh, hey, I have some packages for this room. First, I ordered some floating shelves. As I said, I wanna put my projector up in here. And uh, so I ordered some shelves but as I thought about it further, I realized that if I put the projector on a shelf above my bed over there, it's definitely going to take up like most of this wall behind the camera. And part of that is a window. So I think I'm going to have to get a little stand or something to put at the edge of my bed right here and then angle it up so that it's not so far away from the wall that it creates such a big image. Uh, but it's angled up so it isn't so low. So pretty much I got these shelves and now I don't know what to do with them, but the walls are still pretty empty in here. So I'm thinking we'll still put a shelf above my bed and just like put some decorations on it. I don't know. Let's take a look at the shelves. Hopefully they go with that shelf up there. Apparently, Ikea is done selling that shelf. Sorry, my heater just came on. They have some that aren't this long. They were, instead of this whole length, just like half, but they're not available anymore. So I don't know what's going on, but Ikea definitely did not come through. I got these shelves on Amazon for way cheaper though. They were like having a flash sale. It was like three shelves for $15. 
I'm sorry, but Ikea, the modern day Ikea could never. Oh my God, they're tiny. <gasps> what? The fuck am I supposed to put on this? Bro, the projector won't e wouldn't have even fit on this. Like it's not wide enough for the projector. This is why they were three for $15. What in the hell? Litter, let me give you, this isn't even a big candle. I mean, that's kind of a vibe. It's a lighter gray than that, but I think it goes well. Maybe I could do something like stack them. Oh, oh, there are three different sizes. Oh, me having literally no idea what I bought. So there are three different sizes. Okay, this is the smallest one. I mean, this is still crazy tiny but it's kind of cute. What if I stacked them just like how they're stacked right now on that wall? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm into it. And then the other things that I got, lights. I ordered three different sets and then I'm just gonna pick which one I like the best and return the other ones. So the first set, oh my God, the packaging is so cute. Look at this. Okay, yeah, these ones were the most expensive, but they have like little balls on them. I was excited about the little balls. This is a visual representation of anxiety. Okay, lit. So each little thingy has like extra wire. So I guess you can kind of let it droop as far as you want, but they look like that. The hooks, it has like these little hooks on the end. Mm, I guess I could put like thumbtacks and then just hook this on the thumbtack. It has this little battery box. Where do I connect this into? Wow, it's like a little USB port. And then you just put batteries in it. And then it also comes with a remote. If these are the other ones. Holy shit. This looks like a whole pain in the ass. Uh -huh. Why do they come like this? Be fucking for real right now. Do I even unbother untangling this? Like, first of all, this is enough lights to, I think, wrap around my entire room. Do I want that? Oh, hell no. These are for sure broken. Look at this shit. I don't know if you can see this. This is just like an open wire. Same thing right here. These are for show broke. Um, we're not even gonna get in there because I can tell that they're broken and that's just not the vibe. Oh, cute. Whoa, what the fuck? Is this from the same company? Look at this setup. It's like so similar to the last one. It has like the USB that's literally almost the same and a remote. It's giving, oh my, and the hooks. This has to be the exact same company. Let's see the bulbs. Oh, bitch. Are these hoes twinkling? Stop it right now. Look at that. First of all, they're twinkling. Second of all, I forgot that they also have this. It kind of gives me like outdoor patio lights, but I also kind of want my room, like I wouldn't mind if my room felt like I was outside, you know? Oh, oh my God, the remote works. I didn't even put batteries in it. Okay, let's see, on, lit. You can dim them. <gasps> you can dim them and then make them brighter. I'm gonna return the two lights that I'm not keeping. I'm gonna keep the ones with the bulbs. I'm gonna put my um, shelves up right there and then I'm gonna put the lights up right there.
Oh, hey. Okay. I did it. I was gonna wait and then just get help from Diego, but I decided to just do it myself because I am that bitch. Here they are. I did smallest to largest. And then there was the option to do them so that the little metal things were facing down. And I decided to just do that for the middle one. I thought like cute switch up. Look it up queen, hey. On the tallest one, I might put like a hanging plant. I feel like that could be really cute. So that might have to be the next adventure to find a hanging plant. And I like it. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I like it better than straight across. I like that it ends before my bed. And yeah, oh my god, look at this. So, okay, I was initially going to put lights like like drooping on both sides of that corner to really like open it up. But then I thought about it and that's where I want the projector to project. So I'm like, I can't put lights right there. <laughs> We made some improvements. Now I need to get a plant and stuff to put up there and fix those fucking, but why do they look like that? Good morning. Today I'm gonna be going to Savers, which is like a thrift store and Interior Gardens, the place that I shop for plants and always mention. Let's see what we can find. Okay, hi, we're back from the thrift store. I also wanted to go to Interior Gardens, but they're closed for maintenance for the next couple days. So, gonna have to postpone that. I did want to show you what I got from Savers because I'm really excited about this stuff. There's actually some stuff that I got from Savers that isn't for my room too. It's for in here. So I'm gonna just show that and then I'll include it in a vlog when I uh, put everything up and open that. So first things first, since we're on the topic of the living room. Can you, can you see that? I got this cute ass frame. It is a little beat up in the back, but who sees the back anyway? She's not perfect, but I love her. I love the color. It's one of the main colors that I have going on in this room. I'm obsessed. It was $3.99. I want more things on my wall in the living room. The only things I have on the wall are those prints behind me from an artist on Etsy, but there's not a lot of art on this wall. So yeah, I kind of want to add to it. So I figured another frame that I got for, I think I'm going to keep this one in the living room, this light wooden color. And then again, the back has uh, that little, for like a little thumbtack to hang it. This was $2.99. Now onto the things that are definitely for my room. This frame is gonna definitely go in my room. It's like a silvery gray, which I think goes really good with my shelves. I'm gonna find a photo for it and put it in my room, but I thought it was really cool and it was $3.99. And then anticlimactic, but I got this little canvas. It was just a brand new canvas for $2.49. Uh, and if you saw my last video about painting, you know that I'm gonna start getting into it just because I found it really therapeutic and relaxing when I just give myself the time and really take my time on a piece. So last time I planted, I painted planters. This time I'm gonna paint this guy. 
and hopefully it makes it to my room. Probably the coolest thing that I got. It's just a vase, but I don't think I'm gonna put anything in it. I kind of just like it as it is. This was $4.49 and it's just this like stained glass vase that I think is so freaking cool. I snatched it off the shelf so fast that the lady next to me was like, like, what are you doing? And I'm like, girl, I am, I'm grabbing this thing with a quickness because this is just the most fitting piece of art for my room. I'm looking at my room right now and I think it's a little more like olive green rather than sage green. And sage green is the color that I have going on in my room. But honestly, we accept any sort of green in my room. How freaking spectacular is this? Like, can we take a sec under $5? Like, those are the things that I got from Savers. I know it wasn't all for my room, but scroll. I had to snatch what I snatched, okay? I almost forgot a critical item because it wasn't in the bag, but I got this gigantic glass pitcher. Look at her. She just has these like little indents. She's literally humongous and she was $7.49. She needs a deep cleaning, but girl will get her cleaning. Don't even worry. The reason I got this, I'm actually gonna do a video. I've been wanting to do a video, but I'm waiting for the right season. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my bus in as sangria. So this is a sangria pitcher and only a sangria pitcher. Good morning and happy Saturday. The room makeover saga continues. I called Interior Gardens and they're definitely open today. So we're headed there for a hanging plant for one of my shelves. And then we're gonna go to Walgreens. We're actually gonna go to Walgreens first um, to print photos for those frames that I got at the thrift store. So while those are printing, we'll hit Interior Gardens and then on the way back home, pick up the photos from Walgreens. Let's get it. Okay, I have my plants in the back, um, on the floor in the back seat. They were so nice, and I'm so excited to show you guys the two plants that I picked out. I think they're gonna be perfect for my room. Like, just so perfect. They actually asked me if they could take a picture of me with my plants. They are like, you're so beautiful, can we take a picture of you with your plants? I'm like, okay, do you guys have an Instagram or something? Like, where is it going? They're like, yeah, we have an Instagram. So. I will put their Instagram right here. I'm gonna follow them because you already know. They just take really good care of their plants. I have i don't write Yelp reviews and I've written a Yelp review about them before because they're just amazing. And I feel like they're so tucked away and isolated that not a lot of people come out here or know about them. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till I get you on the floor, good looking. Going out so hot, she just like it, love it. And I don't want to burn my stuff, I just had to touch it. It's so fine, it's so nice, baby. Okay, I, I changed into sweats to handle that plant business. Let me show you the two new plants that I got from my room. And then I just repotted two plants that were already in my room. So I'll show you those as well. This is one of the new babies. I think this one is gonna match my comforter and my mirror really well because it's the perfect like sage green. And so I'm really excited about it. It's a hanging plant. You guys know I wanted a hanging plant. So I think I'm gonna put this on 
the longer shelf, not the short little ones. And in case anyone was wondering, this is a Pothos Silver Splash. So I have another like a neon Pothos in my room. That's that really vibrant, almost yellow one. But this one is called Silver Splash one. I'm obsessed with her hair. And this was $45. And I don't have a pot for her. I don't have a planter. So that'll be the next project. But I think because it's a hanging one, honestly, I could get away with the white. I'm not really tripping because the planter would get completely covered anyway. So I think I'm just going to leave her as is. She looks really happy in here. The next new addition, which you just saw me put into a planter that I already have, is this guy. And I forgot what it's called. I think it's like Mother of Pearl or something with pearl in it because I guess these little bulbs look like pearls to me it looks like curly hair i don't know i just love it in the way that it hangs so this is another hanging plant look at her the top she's absolutely gorgeous i'm obsessed it was kind of a tight squeeze into this tequila planter i actually got this planter in tequila mexico and it wasn't initially a planter. It was just like a little tasa. And I added them, I asked them to add a little hole and they were able to do it. So now it's a planter, but it was kind of a tight squeeze because the soil was really wet on this one. Uh, and because she's a big baby. So I might, you know, transfer her out of this planter soon. This is just the only one that I had right now available. So I think I'm gonna put this one on one of the small shelves. This, my snake plant, my baby snake plant. She's a little baby, uh, but I put her in this planter that I had from a plant that didn't make it, rest in peace. And then last but not least, if you haven't watched it yet, I will link it down below, but it was a paint on mushies with me. And I painted a planter for my baby Malona. This is Malona. Everybody say hi, Malona. <laughs> and this is the way the planter came out for this one. So absolutely obsessed. I just put her in here because I've been meaning to do that. And she looks spectacular, Miss Ma'am. Yes, she does. Okay, queen, fuck it up. <laughs> Moving right along, I got my photos from Walgreens so we can put them in the frames. <gasps> it says put in a five by seven, but this is most definitely not a five by seven because these, or are these four by sixes? <gasps> these are four by six photos, not five by seven. Oh my God, this is a four by six, huh? <gasps> Okay, next thing I wanna show you guys as far as art for my room is from this Etsy shop called, I think it's World Art Gallery or World Gallery Art. I'll put them on the screen. But I actually ordered for them from them a while ago. And I guess because it ships from the UK, something happened with shipping and it just took way longer than anticipated they were supposed to come in before christmas because two of them are actually for my brother this one is going in my room i have to flatten it out obviously but it's like leaves really good quality print okay hi it is later in the day and i had to go back to walgreens because i didn't print the right size for this frame so i reprinted the photos that needed um to be bigger and here they are and i'm gonna put one of them in here and then the other one in this frame this is a frame that i've had for a really really long time and then i also just went to big lots while i was out and picked up two more frames this one was four dollars it's just like a black four by six matte frame this one is gonna go in my living room and then I picked up this one, which is like this light brown. It has more like depth to it. And this one was $5. So this one is gonna go in my room. So let me put the photos in here and I will be right back. I cleaned the glass of the frames and then put in the photos that I want in each one. So first we have 
this one right here the back of this frame like these aren't centered so i'm gonna actually tape down these two corners but this is what this one looks like cute this is me my friend Shar, my friend nat in cancun i think it was cancun mexico on a boat drinking beer <laughs> and then we have this one this is the frame from savers again some friends um, Maria, Tal, and Sienna. This was for New Year's, if you recognize the fit. We are, I think that's in front of Caesar's Palace. In the newest frame that I got, which actually has this, so it might end up on one of the shelves, is, oh, it actually only has the ability to stand not to hook, so it's definitely gonna go on a shelf. But this is a picture of John and Diego when we went on a hike in uh, the Basque Country in Spain. So that was this past summer. And I also just have these two prints. I have this one. This is just a photo I took of a sign in Huntington Beach. It says, Todo bien, todo bien. And then this is in Spain. This is the view from the Malecon, or uh, what's the word? Boardwalk. Uh, the view from the town that my grandparents live in. I think with these, I'm not gonna put them in frames. I kind of like the way they look just not in a frame, so for now, probably just gonna pin them on the wall. Here is all the artwork that I have to put on my walls. Um, if you watched my New Year's Eve vlog, I got these two photos from The Gather House, which is um, a small business collective in downtown on Fremont in Las Vegas. So it's from like a small business owner. It's pretty sick, she like signed her name. And then these two are Polaroids from The Gather House when we went us inside. So that's pretty sick. I have those to put up. And then I just looked up this and it translates in Mandarin to Lotus Mountain, which is pretty sick. So I have that. I don't know how I'm gonna put this up. I obviously don't have a frame for it, but I don't know if I wanna, you know, poke a hole in it with um, a thumbtack. So I haven't decided how I'm gonna put that up yet. Okay, hi. So I wanted to figure out a way to incorporate these Polaroids that I have. I was thinking about getting mini pins and like clipping them onto the light string. But then I looked over at my mirror and I've actually had these two Polaroids on here for a while. And I'm like, what if I just kept that trend going and made like a frame of them? I have some double-sided tape on those ones, but I don't know where the rest of the double-sided tape went. So I ended up ordering more. Are you seeing how thick that is? What in the world? That's like a slab. Like that much? Feels pretty sticky. And then you just... Also, if you guys didn't know, my mirror is this sick-ass mirror from Ikea that opens up. And then you have hooks to like put jewelry on. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this. Voila. Okay, these are all the Polaroids that I have for now, but obviously I will fill it up. I actually have a ton of Polaroid film. I just, I feel like, I don't know about anybody else, but I go through like seasons of liking Polaroids or like thinking to take them. And most of these are from 2020. So that was, that year I was apparently 
into the 2019, 2020, I was into the Polaroids um, and I was kind of quarantining with the same people. So they're most of the same people in all these Polaroids. This is what it uh, looks like. If you guys want to try to find it on Amazon, I got same day delivery for it. I'm excited. Oh, hey, are you ready to see the final room reveal? Of course, if I ever feel like changing something in my room, I'm gonna give myself the freedom to do so. But for now, I feel like my room is at a good place. I feel so differently about it than I did at the beginning of this video where I felt like it wasn't mine and super detached from it. I don't feel that way anymore. I love my room. All right, so here is an overview of my room when you first walk in. This is kind of what you see. Now we'll get into each area. So first we have a super wrinkled comforter. <laughs> this is my nightstand. I have my umbrella light plugged in right there so that wire just ignore it, but that's my nightstand. This is like my jewelry case. I have all my jewelry in here. And then we have the first set of shelves that I put up. Let me light that candle real quick. Okay, so on that first shelf, we have that candle, which, you know, I think this is just gonna be the candle spot because it's like the lowest shelf, so I have easy access, but it's also out of the way, so it's not gonna, you know, burn anything. <laughs> and then this is just um, a body oil from a small business. We have, two photos this one that i took um in huntington and this one is from an artist that was selling at the gather house and right here this was a gift from diego it's a little piece of art i think he got it at world market and then on the very top shelf we have this plant that i had showed you guys in the tequila planter she's just hanging down and then the photo in the frame of John and Diego in the Basque Country. This is that piece of art um, from Etsy that just says Lotus Mountain in Mandarin. And you guys saw me put it up with those pins that I got. I had this comforter already. It's so prone to wrinkles, so just ignore that. It's like a sage green blanket on top, the end of the bed look this way after walking in. We just have this piece of furniture that I had um, with my little jewelry holder. And then I moved this photo to this new spot by the door. It's kind of a dark photo and there's a lot of reflection. I don't know if you can see it very well. And then we have my mirror. I think the darker lighting is better for this. So I turned my light away, but these are my Polaroids lining my mirror. This I got from a small business. The painting that Diego made when he's on Shroomies. More Polaroids. <laughs> Soph drew me this one um, when we were in SF. And then I have this photo of me and my friends in Mexico on this wall, I'm trying to like create shade. <laughs> so that is what that wall looks like. And then we have my closet, my little C. Davis up there. If you look on this side of my closet, that piece of art, which I think I got from like the Target Dollar Tree section when I first got to college and had my first apartment. Um, and then this photo of um, Guitaria in Spain. On this side of the closet, this is the other photo from that artist that I got at the Gather House. And then we have my desk right here. My desk, by the way, is from Ikea. It's adjustable. You can crank it up or down my window. We have this whole empty corner that doesn't have anything in it, but I kind of like it like that. I feel like it leaves space for me to do whatever it is that I want to do. I've yet to get that little end piece of furniture 
to project, put my projector on and project up because my projector's still in my living room. I'm, I haven't set up my TV yet, so I haven't moved the projector in here. So that wall is empty, but it wouldn't be, um, it won't be empty forever. <laughs> and so, and then we have this wall. She's so cute. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, let's zoom in a little. We have that plant baby up there that I showed you guys, that vase that I got from the thrift store, and then my other plant baby over there. We have this photo of me and my, my friends for New Year's. And then of course, the lights, they look so cute. I don't know if I gave you guys an up close of of what they look like. This is what they look like, close. The planter that I painted and my neon potos, my snake plant. That side of the room. This is what this side of the room looks like from this angle. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching the process. Maybe you got some inspiration. Just a reminder to make your space work for you and to make it your own because you will enjoy your time in that space a lot more. I've spent so much more time um, in this room since I've redecorated it. I mean, part of that is the process of redecorating required me to be in here, um, but also just the fact that it's fun to be in here now. Like I, it's, it's a vibe, it is a vibe. And it's not done, but it is done for now. So yeah, thanks for watching again and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.